this was Tony's vision and I saw what he was saying made sense, you know, from the very beginning. And I got quite excited about it from the very beginning. And that's why I was so keen to watch it happen up at the home farm and so keen to convince Tony, not that he needed to be convinced, that he should include the rest of us because we were all just as interested as he was, you know. The benefit is that Robin and I came here 20 odd years ago, you know, with an with a open mind. And so we started looking. We didn't know about natural sequence farming. We didn't know about holistic resource management. We didn't know any of that stuff. We just started looking for better ways. And slowly we found those things. And, you know, once we saw what Tony was doing, we could see how that would fit into what we were doing as well, you know. So I guess we were, we were ready to go. But look, he did a great job with, you know, some of the other people. There, some of the other people were doubters from the beginning. There were a few people who, you know, challenged it initially. But I'm happy to say they're now fully on board. This intervention is very new, you know. Um, the, the, it's only, it was only completed last year. February. February yeah, last year. You know, so it, it hasn't been here a long time yet. Twelve months. You know. And, and well, we have seven interventions? Here. Seven interventions along the creek, yeah. So um, oh, some crossings, some not, um, but all fairly similar sort of structures. They were doing a structure a day almost. It, like, it, it's not a huge task, that's the thing. I think it took them many years, like several years possibly to from start to go to actually get the green light to do the work. But once they got here with the excavators and the rock and everything else, they had it all here set up here, they were doing these at sort of one a day or, or a couple of days at worst. So, um, you yeah, know, they, they were quite fast in, in the way they did it. And you can just see it here that there, this was bare ground. Um, this was bare ground behind you. Um, and so not only is, is this actually rehydrated here, um, you've got all these reeds, you've got the, we had a erosion ditch coming down the side there that we, we've now got ground cover, but you know, it may, may not be the plants that we want ultimately, but it's so, slowly succeeding to what we want. And um, you know, you can see the creek levels, the water levels have come up, the moisture's uh, been absorbed up into the, the sand here. And so we're starting to get a lot of um, cover here plant cover and that's the changes um, and it's quite significant from my experience we're going to see more organic matter going into the soil so these weeds they're short-term annuals and things they're going to drop off and, and die down um, and then we're going to start seeing more organics get into this into the material we'll get tea tree I know that we're going to get tea tree because we've had it in other areas where we've had interventions um, and that's all going to come back we get wattles and other things coming in so um, I think it's all part of the process. The vision that Tony had was to be able to do this at least a hundred times, you know, and so we kind of see ourselves as a pilot, mm. you know, if this really works for us and we believe it's going to work for us, it won't be unique anymore, it'll be, you know, it'll be commonplace. There'll be a lot of people saying we want to do this.